This isn't quite the Australian outback, but Avra Valley may look a little more like it as the search continues for two Wallaroos on the run. They're, they're family. So I care for them greatly. I'd really love to get uh, Boomer back. That's Boomer hopping right down Avra Valley Road. It was a lightning strike that made Eric Nielsen's automatic gate malfunction, allowing it to stay open just long enough for the Wallaroo to bounce. Any reports of kangaroos running loose in the Area. Nielsen didn't realize Boomer was missing until a few days later when his neighbor captured this video. It's not uncommon for me to go a week or two without seeing them because uh, they're out, they're free range on 20 acres. The high fence property is home to tortoises, hey, Simon. emus, turkeys, and Boomer's mom, appropriately named Bouncy, who still hasn't been seen. It caused quite a stir around the office. But according to Mark Hart with the Arizona Game and Fish, they aren't treating this any different as if it were your average lost dog. Well, it seems exotic, but actually they are legal to have as pets. It's not on our list of restricted wildlife. And uh, the whole case is unusual, to say the least. Uh, we hope they survive their walkabout. It's now been six days since Boomer and likely Bouncy have been on the run. Nielsen just hopes they get spotted before it's too late. Uh, the first four or five days, he would tend to stay in the same area. But after that, if he couldn't find home, uh, he just picks a direction and just goes. If you do find Boomer or Bouncy, you are asked to call 911 or the Arizona Game and Fish. From Avra Valley, I'm John Patrick, News for Tucson.